This week's edition on how to repair a nose strut. Sparkling information, Oscar, time 20520, wind 17014, gust 21, visibility 10, T class 2200, temperature 32, 2.22, altimeter 2901, landing in a party runway 19 right, runway 19 left. By the initial contact, you have information, Oscar. Take off the cap, take out the straight of us. No, that's down, right? Disconnect this. So, right? Inspect this to make sure you don't have any wear on it, right? Because if that breaks, it spins around like that. It's not nice if that comes loose right there and you're landing on the nose wheel is like that. Okay? Bring this all the way down. Let's wipe this up. See that hole right there? Yeah. Right? Okay, look at this. This in here is a snap ring that goes around like that, right? So, the opening for the snap ring is around that side, right? So you have to bring the snap ring around so you can use this and push on it and then pull the snap ring out that way. It's in there somewhere. Is it there the whole time? No, no, no. It's, it's there. But well, guess what? It's turned to exactly where the hole is. Uh huh. You know why? Huh? You know why? Why? Because this project has to get done. That's why I did that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. This is a snap ring, right? Is that part of the rebuild or no? Is that in the kit? Yes. With that out, right? This should come right out. You have something to pour the, the uh, you have a bucket. bucket. Yeah. That's it. You see how much fluid is inside there? This, that's the beveled end, right? And the, the beveled end allows this snap ring to sit inside of it like that, right? So if this should slide off, you know, there. But this, if you lay it flat here, this whole assembly comes off. So the next step is to take this snap ring here. Oh, just, just hold that in place somewhere. Where do you want, right here? 
Yeah, just so, just I just so it doesn't move. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. right. So that snap ring comes off. You put it right there. This comes off like that. See? Okay, that's your second item, right? This comes off. The O-ring is to the top, right? So don't, when you put it back on, you can't make the mistake because the scraper is at the bottom. All right? This comes off like that okay that's your scraper there you don't have to change it and this sits in like this so the only place where there are o-rings is in this outside inside and they dry out right yeah they dry out like this one i know this one is messed up oh, it's hard yeah and she, and of them so that's see you see that so it's not it's hard it's not malleable yes all right one and two we clean this off so this one's actually pliable yes yeah that one is pretty good this one's I don't pliable. Want to bust it up let me but this one's hard yeah that that one was probably the one that that one is the most, the one that was most likely leaking. Now if you notice, there are two braces inside on either side. What they have done now, they actually got a whole O-ring now that fits. That's kind of square, that kind of fits right in there with the two here. The new one feels like. it goes here put it back on first so that you don't forget it and this went on the right way it's, it's going to go inside there right like that see mm -hmm. all right but first we get there mm -hmm. one two everything that's going on right okay so we start off with this okay so that's it, you see that? Make sure it is in properly. You work it in, make sure there's no burring. Yeah, yeah. What I want to do, because this is going to be exposed to the thing. You know how, how rough it look? Alright. So that's in. Right? Point the, the light. See that? See that in. And then this one here. Yeah. When this when you put this o-ring on make sure that it that is not twisted like that make sure it's not like that when you put it in it will start leaking right away make sure it's nice and smooth all the way around okay and where does this go this sit right inside there right opposite to this Right, so that is on, right? That's on. Which way does this go? Okay, this goes on. Okay. Okay, like that. Then what next? Sleeve. Sleeve. 
Okay, the sleeve goes on. This comes up to that. Okay. And then our new snap ring goes on here. Okay. It's a lot harder to take off than it is to put on. Okay. okay. So this comes up, sits up there, and this slides in behind there, keeps that in. This, we make sure this is our lube. DC4 or lubricant. There is a fast way of getting fluid into it. After you put the fluid in, fill this up, or you can put it in after. And how high up does it go? Huh? How high up do you take it to the uh, to the collar? You see where that hole where it started leaking out? Okay. I leave it just a little bit below that. So when you're ready to put fluid in, you're not spending all day on it. Right. So, right? So you so you, so you can do it like that, right? If you want, it just makes it for more mess. Just another way of doing it. In case you don't have that thing that holds that puts it down, hold that puts it down. So what are we going to do now? See the bottle over here? Open this up for me. I'm just doing this so you can see how much is in how much is actually inside of it, right? So that's that's probably just about you're going to need a little bit more than that but that just gives you an idea of how much is going to be in here all right okay so this goes in. This end and you want to go all the way up. See it's going up. It's back up. And this goes up. You remember where the hole is? Is there a tool for the snap ring? I use different sizes of this and you can push and most important thing is to make sure that the, that the sleeve is in. 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 We run the strut all the way up. Let's put some more fluid in here. Quarter inch. So the strut is all the way up. I'm going to suck that fluid up by pulling the strut down. Okay, so pull the line out now, up, because I'm going to push back up now. I'm going to push back up. Coming up more again. See the bubbles coming through, yeah. Push it back down into the fluid now because I'm going to pull more fluid in. Pull in more fluid now. So all the fluid is gone in the bucket. Okay, all the fluid is gone, right? Okay. I'm going to push up one more time. Here, here, just put a little bit more fluid. Alright, go ahead. Okay, coming up. All the way up. All the way up, nothing came out. Okay. So put some more fluid into it. Take the hose off the bottom of it because I get bounced back down here. Alright, here we go. The, the, the hose is still at the very bottom of the bottle. Oh, is it the bottom of the bottle? Is it? Because yep. I'm getting it. Okay, there you go. 
still is. Yeah. How much fluid is in the bottom now? Uh, maybe a uh, half inch. Okay, take the hose up out. I'm going to start pushing fluid back up now. Coming back up. Yep, no bubble. We have about four inches, five inches of fluid. Of fluid? Okay, I'm going to pull down now. All right. All right, it's all the way at the bottom, yeah. Okay, get it off the bottom. All right, so listen now. The amount of fluid that's there now, pull the hose up out of the... It's the hose the, is out of the bottom. It's off yeah. the fluid line, yeah. Okay, I'm going to push this all the way up, look. Bringing this all the way up. Take it off the bottom. Coming up, up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. And I leave three inches of strut, right? A three inches of strut left. Okay. So therefore, my fluid is all the way up to the top with three inches of fluid inside there. It's got the hose and everything. So I push this back up a little bit to there. A little fluid squirted out, sorry. It's got up onto this. All right, that goes away. Now, what do you think we do next? The screw for this, bam. Okay, washer, not cut a pin. Four. Which way is the hole? Pointing up. You drop the uh, washer. Okay. Washer on. What do you notice? It's not moving. No bumps. So guess what you have? It's sitting right on top of the fluid. How much strut you have showing there? Uh, four finger lengths. Four finger lengths. And how much, how much strut is supposed to be exposed? Three. Three, right? So while it's sitting like that, here's the easiest way of doing it. We got some fluid inside here, some old fluid that had sprayed up. Clean all of that up. Clean all of that up. Right? Don't let it come and squirt inside of it. Now from the sheer weight of the aircraft, what is going to come up through here? Hydraulic. Hydraulic fluid. Right? What 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 is my strut down to? Look at the strut. Three finger lengths now. I'm down to three inches, right? Yeah, we're good. We open this. And it, that's how much PSI it has inside there. And then we start putting it. This is going to be telling you how much you're putting inside there. Okay, right off. Look. You want a little bit though? We gotta get it down. See how shiny that is? Gotta get rid of that shiner. Where the scraper's at? About a finger and a half. I'm, I'm just going to let it come down to where that line is. You know, I like it where it is right there. 